she's the new girl at St. Benedict's Academy. Just the girl they've been looking for. I thought it was Satan. Okay. Okay. Oh, find a warm place. Bonjour, class. Monsieur Roger. She's got the power they need to make their circle complete. <laughs> Action! Columbia Pictures presents The Craft, starring Nev Campbell as Bonnie, Rachel True as Rochelle, Feruza Balk as Nancy, and Robin Tunney as Sarah. Hey, whatever you do, stay away from them. Why? They're witches. We don't fit in, we're the misfits of our school, and I think this is why we've sort of bonded together. So what are you doing after school? Nothing, I guess. I'm busy. Football practice. You can come and watch. Sarah, looking for someone? No. Some of these football dicks make their girlfriends come and watch them practice as if it's interesting. You're Nancy. Ah, she's Nancy. I'm Bonnie, and that's Rochelle. Hi, I'm Sarah. Yeah, we know who you are. They're a little bit more wild than she is, and a little bit more dangerous. They go to bad neighborhoods and they stay out late. I think that anything that's dangerous is potentially exciting, especially when you're 17. Well, watch out for those weirdos. We are the weirdos, Mr. We decide that we need to have four people within our group to be able to be as powerful with our magic as possible. She doesn't realize it's witchcraft until she meets these girls who've studied it. They really think that the power she has is amazing and beautiful, and she feels accepted for the first time. I think she's just basically the new girl, and it's all about curiosity the first day. And through her friendship, she comes out of her shell. Sarah was always the point of view character, and her journey was always going to be that she was a character who had a power she didn't quite understand. Let's go to my house. I can't. I got to go home. All right. Are you mad? No. He was going around the whole school saying that you're the lousiest lady he's ever had. Why'd you lie about me? Look, I don't want to go out with you again. Please stop begging, it's pathetic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My character, when she was a child, was in a really horrible fire, was burned very badly, and thus has really bad scars all over her body. I drink of my sisters, and I take into myself the power to be beautiful, outside as well as in. She's allowed that sort of exterior freakishness to affect her interior. But by fixing that outside, it kind of corrupts the inside. It starts at 8.45 sharp. Sorry, my pedicure ran late. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Rochelle, her problem is basically being tortured by mean blonde girls. Shark! Brilliant. I ask for the ability to not hate those who hate me especially racist, bleach blonde Gloria Lizzie. Witchcraft, I think, for Nancy, my character, is just another form of addiction. Her mother's a chronic alcoholic. She's gone through drug abuse, alcohol abuse, every kind of abuse. She's a very addictive person. What's happening to him? We can make things happen. I mean, this is it. This is real. Nancy is, is no more or less screwed up than any of the other girls. It's just that at the crucial point, instead of saying, that's enough, I've learned my lesson, she just says, what the hell, and just keeps going. In the beginning, beautiful things happen. And I think like a lot of things, especially with teenagers, once you find a good thing, you tend to abuse it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I saw a bug. Could you carry these for me? They're really heavy. Yeah. Oh, and Bonnie's, too. She's, she's got that back. Oh, and this one. Oh, thanks. And they're not thinking about the repercussions of their actions. So, check it out. Her spell is working. They're just thinking, OK, these people messed with me. I'm going to get back at them. Gross. What happened? I don't know. What does it look like? To use witchcraft to actually have cause and effect in the world, to have a terrible revenge fantasy and have the revenge fantasy occur, that seems so true to your emotional life, and particularly when it's as raw as it is in adolescence. Hey, why didn't you answer the phone? It's 3 o'clock in the morning, Chris. Can I help you? No, nobody can help me. When you're a teenager, if you want magic to work, you want to believe that if you can just believe in something hard enough, it will happen. 
Who's got the instructions? By the end of the movie, everything negative that we've put out happens to us times three. Sarah? <laughs> Nancy, let's go. <laughs> You're a witch. If a witch betrayed her cousin, they would kill her. Sweet dreams, Sarah. How have you been sleeping? <laughs> By the powers of three times three, make them see. Make them see. <gasps> Sarah? Did I frighten you, Nancy? Why aren't you dead? I bind you, Nancy, from doing harm. Yeah! Now he's pathetic. <laughs>